My business behind bars, the Bad Boys Bakery, is finally up and running. But my six months in Brixton prison are almost up. Last day. You're going to miss me tomorrow. Thank you. The bakery is not yet in profit, so I've invited Secretary of State for Justice Ken Clark and Prisons Minister Crispin Blunt to see if they can provide vital investment and take my pilot business to the next level. We're going to cook him lunch. And in many ways, it's going to be great for him just to, A, get up to speed with what we've been doing, but B, a chance for the boys to actually show him, you know, what they can produce inside this prison kitchen. Every day I say to myself, why did I have to come to prison to get this experience? You know, it's a good experience, and I just wish I had this experience on the outside. It's just made me prepared, so when I go out, yeah, I'm just ready to work, in it. This is the most important meal my brigade have cooked so far. The minister's decision has the power to make or break the bad boy's bakery. Big day today. We have a very special guest coming down. You're going to be cooking for him and a chance to show him what we've been doing. We've got Ken Clark coming down. He's oh. the man that oversees every big decision oh. in the justice system. Oh, yep, so it's, uh, it's a big one. I want to see some energy in here. I want you Matt, to. Yeah, exactly. And he's going to show him what we've achieved. Let me put it this way. Uh, here's, here's, here's the shit side to him coming. If he doesn't understand how important this is, this place is going to close. We have to make an immediate impression. I know Ken Clark likes his food, so I've asked the boys to create traditional British canapes to showcase what they've learned. He's taught me a bit of discipline. He's taught me. I've, I've got more belief in myself now. They've earned my trust. I can give them something without worrying. I'll be doing it myself literally two hours later. It takes a long time to get that trust. I never had a skill before. Even though I've had jobs, I never had a skill. It gives you other avenues, you know what I mean? Got any questions for Ken? I thought you were just welcome in there, welcome to our kitchen. You've already, you've already sent him to sleep. No. no. Is it why? <laughs> they might only be canapes, but today, the Scotch eggs on the menu are odd cuisine. Quail's eggs. <laughs> you know what's about quail? I've never heard of this stuff in my life, you know what I mean? Can you fucking believe it? I'm salt and pepper in your egg. Right, go, go, I'm go. I'm in my mouth. Well, where are you going to stick up your ass? Of course you can put it in your mouth. <laughs> How are you going to eat it? It's a quail egg. I just swallowed it without chewing it properly, but yeah. <laughs> 